Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.0.42 on Debian 12.10. But the process is same on all Debian 12 operating systems. First open any web browser. Then go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Click on downloads. Then click on MySQL community downloads. Then click on MySQL community server. Then select the version. See here we have the 8.0.42. If you are unable to find version in this list, click on archives. There you will find all versions. Select the version. Then select the operating system. See here we have the Debian Linux. See once we selected version Debian Linux, it populated the list of the Debian packages that needs to be executed to install the MySQL server 8.0.42. Okay, instead of downloading each package, just to download this Debian Linux 12 dev bundle. Now download this dev bundle package. Now click on this download button. Then click on no thanks, just start my download. See download started and its size is 474 megabytes. Wait until download completes. This will take time. In meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See download is completed. Go to the terminal. Go to down, then go to downloads directory. CD downloads ls. See here we have the MySQL server 8.0.42 tar file. We have to untar this file. Tar hyphen accept. Give MySQL. Give the tab to autofill entire file name. Hit enter. Ls. See here we have the list of the Debian packages. We have to execute these packages to install the MySQL server 8.0.42. Before installing, we have to install following dependencies sudo apt install macap hyphen ipadic hyphen utf 8 then lib aio hyphen dev. I will keep this command in the video description. Hit enter, provide the password of sudo user, hit enter, type 5 for confirmation, and hit enter. We have successfully installed control L. Now install these packages sudo dpkg i start dot dev. Hit enter, it will install all Debian packages. Hit enter. See, we are installing MySQL server 8.0.4. Now we have to set the password for root account. Confirm the same. Hit enter. Select OK for this my new authentication based password methods. To see here we have to select default authentication plugins. Either strong password encryption or use legacy method. It is up to you. First one is recommended. Okay. It is up to you. So select OK and hit enter. See the errors, we can ignore these errors. We have successfully installed control L. Now verify the status of the MySQL server. sudo systemctl status mysql hit enter. See MySQL is active and running and it is enabled. You to quit control L. Now connect to MySQL server. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p hit enter then provide the password that we have set now for the root account hit enter see we have successfully connected to mysql server 8.0.42 you can also verify the version of the mysql server that we have installed by running the command select version see we have installed mysql server version 8.0.42 okay control l now verify the list of the databases so databases See, these are the default databases that comes with MySQL Server 8.0.42 installation. Now create a database and switch to new database and create a table. Okay. Create database. See, new database is created. 
now switch to this database by using the command use keyword then provide the database name verified list of tables in this database see we don't have any tables let us create a table create table see you have created a table in customer in bank database let us insert some data into this table See, we have inserted these rows. Okay, control A. Now we will create a user. Before that, verify the list of the users. Show users. This won't work. You can get the list of the users by running the command select user from MySQL dot user. See, these are the default users that comes with MySQL installation. Create user. Now verify the users. See, we have created user David. Control A. Now exit from MySQL and connect with this new user. Exit MySQL hyphen U. New username is David hyphen P. Then provide the password of this new user that we have created. See, we have successfully connected. Let us verify the current user. Select current underscore user. There must be a space between select and current user. See, we have connected. To MySQL server with the user David. Okay, exit. Now we'll see how to stop, start, and restart MySQL server on Debian 12 operating system. sudo system system ctl stop MySQL hit enter. Now we the status sudo system ctl star status MySQL. See, MySQL is inactive or dead. You took it. Also, try to connect MySQL for verification. See, we are see we are unable to connect because MySQL server is stopped. So, start it again. sudo systemctl start MySQL. Now, we the status. See, MySQL service is started. If you want to restart, just give restart. Hit enter. See, we have successfully restarted. Until now, we have connected MySQL server by using MySQL client. We can also connect MySQL server by using the most popular tools like MySQL Workbench or DBR. Okay, you can search for my YouTube channel how to install MySQL Workbench and DBR on Linux operating systems. The last option is LS. See, these files are not required anymore because we have successfully installed MySQL server. RM star dot dev. Hit enter ls also remove this file rm give mysql give the tap to autofill entire file name hit enter ls we have cleared the space control a so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure mysql server 8.0.42 on debian 12.10 but the process is same on all debian 12 operating systems okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you